I always love watching uh, Froggy shake his head when we talk to the interns. Intern Abby, you have something really unique going on with you today. Mm. Yeah, I do. Um, lots going on this week. Well, particularly last week. Can I talk about it? Can, yeah, I, can I bring it up for you? Uh, and we've, we've talked about this on our show before, where sometimes you, when you're out in the dating world, you may not want the romance. You may not want the companionship. You just want free dinner. Right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, how many free dinners have you had recently? Um, Probably about five or six too many. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because wow. usually you, know, you get the free dinner, then sometimes you feel like, uh, do you ever feel guilty for just using them for dinner? Um. Okay. So I, let me just preface with, I don't go out necessarily expecting a free dinner. Sometimes it just, you know, it just happens. You have a great time. The guy tends to, you know... Guys tend to like me, I guess, and yeah. they, they feel like, all right, let me treat this girl to a nice taco, a margarita. All right. So intern, you return the favor. Yeah, it's, it's stop it, Froggy. Intern Abby, I think you set up like seven Tinder dates last week. Wow. I did. So I tried to do one every night because, you know, I already talked to you guys. You know, Because you're it's, hungry. It's, I'm hungry. A and girl's got to eat. A girl's got to eat. And, of course, it's expensive to live here, you know, being so young and, you know, being on my own. So I thought, like, let me just see how many free dinners I can get. Okay, let me let me just say, Intern Abby, I don't feel like you're doing anything wrong because through these free dinners you're getting, you may eventually meet someone who's kind of interesting. Yeah. And you're like, oh, maybe I'll get a second free dinner. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't, have, have any of these guys proven to be interesting at all to you? Yeah, I mean, I had one guy who I went out with on a second date. Um, that was the end of it. But, uh, you know, a second date and, you know, some company was pretty nice to have. Okay, all right. Now, there's another thing that Intern Abby does. When she knows she's going out with her girlfriend, yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll go to go have a drink with someone, and yeah, just, kinda, just to kind of uh, like pregame. Mm-hmm. So uh, one night I set up three back to back drink dates, so I would be you know hyped and ready to go for my girlfriend's one night on a on a Thursday. All right, so you had three. <laughs> oh my you had, God. Okay, so how does how do back to back drink dates go? I yeah, mean, describe that like every like one an hour. Of course, you know I set them up on a very strict schedule. I told them I'm a busy gal. Um, you know I don't necessarily have time for longer than an hour. So uh, six to seven, seven to eight. Eight to nine. I got to yeah. get out of here, boys. So now let me, wait, wait, wait. So let yeah. me ask you a question. We, have, so we six, have questions. Yeah. So six to seven, do you look and go, oh, it's seven o'clock. Got to go. Yeah. And I prefaced it. You know, I said, hey, um, I, I got dinner with uh, with my friends, you know, so let's just do a quick drink. And if it goes well, I'll see you next week. So uh, did you have, oh now, okay, you'd have drink number one, let's get at, at bar one. Mm-hmm. Did you go to a different bar? Yes, I tried to schedule them within the same area. Right, right. Yes, just you know, so I wouldn't be late because tardiness isn't really my style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, no. you're getting a free gosh. drink out of it. You don't, don't want to be tardy. <laughs> you can't be tardy for the party. No, not at all. Okay, so how did that work out? It, it was it successful. Yeah, uh, for the most part. Wait, what um, time did you? What was what time was drink number one? So drink number one, I actually did at five. Um, okay, and then I had the next one at six. But something did happen. Um, I scheduled three. But the second one was with the guy who that went really well, so I ended up accidentally standing up the third guy. Okay. Well, I know, but well, but you had a good you had a good time with uh, with tender man number two. Yes, it was a great margarita. I okay, for, okay, very nice. <laughs> and then, so you're going to see him again? Um, I did, and um, I'm not going to again. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, but the third guy that you blew off, you actually saw later at a party. Yeah. So uh, how did that go? Um, so the next weekend, or so. It was, yeah, the next weekend I um, was t- was going to go with a pregame with my other friend, and she had mentioned, you know, it's this guy named Scott, and I had already met one of her friends who whose name happened to be Scott, so mm-hmm. I thought, oh, like it's the cool guy, you know, with the beard. Um, I get there, and it's date number three, and he was not happy with me. Well, what, what did he say? <laughs> so he just kind of came up to me. He's like, "Hey, um, I think I know you from Bumble," <laughs> and I said. Yeah. About that. <laughs> About that. I'm so sorry. But you know what? Ended up being fine and uh he ended up buying me a drink anyway. There so you go. <laughs> <laughs> now was it you that uh got the guy's HBO Go password? Yeah, it was. Oh so what, I sound so, like such a scammer now. You've been sounding like a scammer this entire time. But. I'm never gonna get a date after this, ever. Sorry to all the guys out there. Look, it's okay being cheap. It's okay being yeah. frugal. It's okay looking out for your finances. So you're on the train and this guy's a little he's a little twisted, right? Yeah, he comes up to me, he says, Hey, I think you're really attractive. Can I add you on Instagram? And I'm like, you know what, he's gonna follow me. I love, you know. 
bring in the flowers. I have nothing against that. Right. Um, so he slides into my DMs and says, hey, I would love to take you out for a drink. I say, of course. <laughs> I love fruit drinks. So uh, I get there, and he is already very tipsy. Right. And I'm thinking, okay, well, <laughs> at least it won't be awkward because he's a little tipsy, right? Um, we, you know, we have some things in common. We chat. Well, by the end of it, homeboy is sloshed. Okay. All right. <laughs> and um, I, I, somehow we get on the topic of, you know, I'm running out of TV shows to watch. I really need suggestions. And he said, well, have you seen Game of Thrones? And I said, uh, I don't have HBO, so I, you know, I can't really watch it. And he goes, hold up. He got so passionate about it. He started writing all of his credentials on the, on the cocktail napkin. So he gave you your, his HBO Go password. He did. So, so now you're getting free HBO. <laughs> You're getting free drinks, you're getting free dinners, and you're loving life. Yeah, I'm on uh, season one, episode three. Very excited. <laughs> Winter right. is coming, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> look, let me just state for the record. The, these guys these guys have no problem, no problem buying you drinks and dinners. He has no problem giving you his HBO Go password. <laughs> What's the harm done? I mean, like I said... When you're out in the dating world, even if you went Dutch, even if you bought drinks, you're still yeah. meeting guys. And they each one of them have the possibility of being someone who could be interesting. You could see again, what, and maybe not. Whatever, yeah, it's part know. of the dating world. Yeah, there's nothing to lose from what from my point of view. Right, and I get to watch Game of Thrones. And how old are you? I'm uh, 21. Okay, and you so. and you're very honest with them. You say, "Look, we're going to meet for a drink, mm -hmm. and you know, I, this is my time frame." And they can say no. You know? Yeah. I love I love this text. Intern Abby is my hero. You go, girl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> not all heroes wear capes. I guess you know. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Or maybe a free she cape. She sounds like Nate a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, you do. You do have a little cockiness in there, but yeah. I, I don't hear. I don't hear anything to me that's offensive <laughs> at all. No. I would hope not. I now, don't want America to hate me. Now from a now from a <laughs> guy's perspective mm -hmm. uh straight nate even though, even though you're, look at nate's face straight nate even though you, you were you were seriously with someone now it wasn't that long ago when you were in the dating world yeah now to meet someone like intern abby is that exhausting to you or are you oh totally, it's exhausting but you're totally because i see the i see the game as somebody going out and having gone out on a lot of dates i know exactly what you're all about right so i know that okay for me for instance i would only say all right we're doing drinks that's it I don't get scammed into no dinners, right? <laughs> and I see exactly what you're all about. Okay, okay scary. Yeah, what do you think, scary? Yourself. See, I'm the guy that got scammed repeatedly. Many First times. Of all, if this was a guy that was doing this, he would be a dog. 100%. Everyone's, everyone's 100% this, agree. But she's like the dollar bill on a fishing pole trip. But wait a second. She, she, no, guys keep chasing, and she keeps reeling the pole but in. The dollar not, bill on the fishing pole trip. It's not like trick. she's lying to anybody. Yes, she like, is. How is she? No. no. No, no. It's the same as guys who go to strip clubs and think that the, they think the dancers are interested in them. Yeah. No, they're not. No, I'm not, they're not. I'm not calling you a dancer. I'm just saying, you know <laughs> Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that. All I'm saying is, you know what? You believe in your mind what you want to believe. If you really th you know, look, it's the dating world. She's 21 yeah. years old. What, what do you want? Marriage? No. You go Maybe. Ahead and have, go ahead and have, well, not now. No, like, not at 21. Well, whenever wait. you want. Whenever you want. <laughs> yeah, I waited until 54. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just saying, go out and have fun. And, and I don't think she's taking advantage of anyone. I don't think anyone's getting hurt here. The guys are having a right. good time. And like I said, you got to go through like 50 guys until you find one that's kind of cool, you know? And then there's yeah. nothing wrong with what you're doing. I love it, Intern Abby. But Listen, I don't like it, but I, I don't think she's leaving anybody I'm not making them on. pay. No. Of course I offer. But look, people are texting and Intern Abby's pissing me off. <gasps> but the next text, this girl's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Think of all the money I'm saving, guys. So much. She is why I have trust issues. Okay, look. Uh, okay, I can see how people have been burned, and they may have trust issues. Of course, issues. yeah. Does intern Abby like chubby bearded guys? The texts Maybe. are coming in. This Abby girl is trash. Is You're chubby not. bearded guy going to pay for a drink? Oh, right. <laughs> in, intern Abby is my spirit animal. She's a bitch. Look, you know, half it's half and half. Just, uh, just understand what you're doing. Some people are fans of and some people aren't. I can live with that. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> she can live with that as long as she can't free drinks. <laughs> free drinks. <free, free. laughs> All right, intern Abby. You keep us informed, okay? Will do. You know, eventually, you're. Yeah, I got bad news for you. Eventually, you're going to meet a guy that you kind of like. Yeah. And, and then the what problem. are you going to do? You know, but, oh, no, but he may like her. I mean, look, it's, it's, you may drive in the same lane. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how it works. But you you may find a guy that you want to have maybe three dates with. Ooh, 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 ooh three ooh, dates. Ooh, devious. All right, thank you, Abby. <laughs> oh, this is a rude one. Team Abby.
Can you? That people want to know if you can give out that HBO password. <laughs> don't do that. Do, do not give out the guy's HBO password. Good God, are you dying over there? It made me laugh. What do you have? Thank you, Abby. You're fabulous. <laughs> what do you have? Hello, Caroline. Hi. Hi. Uh, so you're listening to intern Abby getting free drinks and, and uh, HBO <laughs> from guys. And so uh, yeah. what did you get from a guy once? Um, well, I just got out of a relationship. So all of my old Tinder matches have been reaching out. Mm-hmm. And I was getting a late night text one night um, begging me to talk to him. And he said, what do I have to do to just be your friend? And I'm redecorating my apartment. So I said, well, you can buy me a rug. And he said, okay, send me the link. And so I sent him the link and it's like a $600 rug. I'm actually standing on it right now. It's pink. And you, it's got, huge. you got it's a free, cool. you got a free pink rug. What? Yeah. <laughs> and that's just to be your yeah. friend. Yeah. I actually um, blocked him after that. Well, you got the rug. <gasps> Wait, no, wait. that's not right. That's not cool. You, well, I don't that's know. Well, not, well, well, well. Unless he was a creeper, a creepster. Yeah, he may have done he something. Was. Yeah, he, he did was. something creepy. Other yeah. than you know, giving you a free rug oh, wait a in in, re, in return for friendship. Which I, if he if he was going to do that, yeah. I think uh, hello, but the wait guy's a out of it. Did you give him your address to mail you the rug? Yeah, he has my address, but he actually doesn't live in the same state as me okay. anymore. Okay. Yeah. All right. Just be careful. I don't like this. Well, I know, but, I know, but you shouldn't buy a rug for friendship. He sh- I agree. He, he shouldn't have done but, that. I, 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 everyone's kind of weird here. I don't but know. there's a little bit. But I also have a little bit of an issue with taking the rug in the first place. It was very expensive, knowing that he obviously had other intentions down the road. I don't know. At least buy our couch. <laughs> all right well caroline enjoy your pink rug but you you feel no guilt at all over the pink rug uh no i don't because i mean i talked to him for a little bit after i got the rug and he kind of ended up not being very nice okay, okay so maybe you tried so maybe maybe you know. about it at all yeah well no if he if he was doing something that was crude and cruel then yeah um, i get it um, by all the right. way froggy you offer your wife like bags and shoes for sex all the time yeah, but we're married. <laughs> right. Okay. But, but Caroline... And I'm not a creepy McCreepster. But well. this, guy, this guy with Caroline got rug burned. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Caroline. Thank you so much. What's Carrie? Some rando listener, Madison, she Venmo requested me $180... For what? ...to pay for the ticket to the iHeart Festival. She wrote, hashtag, help a girl out. Help a girl <laughs> out. You sure of that? Help her out. It's the, I, it's the iHeart Radio Music Do Festival. It, help her scary, out. Do it, Do it.